Oh my gosh, I'm anxiety. Where can I put my stuff? A new emotion! With so many more characters introduced and knowing little of what to expect from the new movie, fans are left questioning who the next antagonist could be. With Joy being the antagonist in the first film, we are wondering who will take up the role in the new one. Since learning to accept sadness with her quirks, each emotion has gotten closer to one another. However, that doesn't apply to the new arriving emotions. The least likely to take that role, however, is anxiety, as her feelings consist of everything steering her away from possible trouble. Today's video is about why anxiety could never be the new villain, and who could take her place, impacting the rest of the plot. We wanted to make such a good first impression. Uh, what do you mean, we? Number 1. Joy already struggles to share control of Riley. Since the beginning of Inside Out, it becomes clear that Joy is the emotion made to control Riley the most, or at least that's what she believes. With the other four emotions coming later in Riley's life, Joy feels responsible for deciding Riley's choices. She also stays happy, taking only the best paths in life. This quickly turns into a possessive emotion, making her dislike sadness the most. Their different behavior causes many problems for them throughout life and in the movie. When Joy finally realizes how crucial each emotion is to Riley, it allows the girl to evolve as an individual and experience life to the fullest. Fans expect her to be the antagonist again in the second film. While she has lost the reins of the emotions she currently lives with, she has never met the new ones. In the brief trailer, we see that Joy is the most shocked by Anxiety's arrival, which shows us how unwelcoming the old emotions are. Even if this unwelcome behavior could cause Anxiety and other new emotions to become upset, she is still unlikely to say anything directly to Joy for acting out. Instead, if Joy were to be in the wrong again in the new movie, it would likely take the same amount of effort it did with Sadness. This would mean for them to take the journey together and slowly have Joy understand the importance of anxiety in Riley's life. Hogging the control panel would be something we can expect to see in the beginning of the film, but hopefully by the end, every motion can learn to coexist with each other again. Oh, hello. I, I'm Joy, so... Can I just... If you could... I just want to fix that. <laughs> Thanks. Number 2. None of the other emotions were expecting new emotions to show up. In the short trailer, all five emotions aren't welcoming to their new guest. This is because they didn't seem to have any warning that anyone new was joining them. And anxiety being there surprised the other emotions. Without proper time to prepare themselves, the old emotions could become upset at their new uninvited guests. Especially since they now all have to share the cramped headquarters. We could expect Joy to react similarly to how she did when Sadness first got there, since she wasn't expecting other emotions to be there but got stuck with them anyway. From the little bit we have seen of Anxiety, she doesn't seem like the type to stir up trouble, similar to the way Sadness was. The difference between the two emotions is that while Sadness gave in to Joy and did whatever she asked, Anxiety feels more of a leader and seems like someone who won't give in to whatever the old emotions try to tell her, which could also cause issues. Since the old emotions expect to have the upper hand in controlling Riley, suddenly being confronted by Anxiety and the other emotions will take away the power they were all used to having. Even though none of their problems will be made worse by Anxiety, she could still be the cause of some of them. The difference between her and Joy is that she doesn't seem like the type to push everyone around or argue with anyone. But just as any of the emotions do, she will stand her ground about Riley and her job while making her feel every emotion, not just some. I didn't touch it. Orange is not my color. Not me. Hello! Number 3. Anxiety doesn't like being the center of attention. Something well known about anxiety is that it stems from confrontation and the feelings Riley will have when put in a situation she doesn't want to be in. Since we know that each emotion behaves similarly to how they impact Riley, we can expect anxiety to be the same. If Joy or any other emotions were to confront anxiety, she would be too anxious to argue back with them or cause too many issues amongst her peers. This would result in her being the least likely as the antagonist since fighting isn't something Anxiety would enjoy doing. We could also expect to see her and Sadness become quick friends, since they both seem to get on the other emotions' nerves the most. Having someone to relate to would be appreciated by both Sadness and Anxiety. Since Sadness was never the one causing any of the problems between her peers, Anxiety will behave similarly and stay in the background rather than cause problems with the other emotions. Riley has no core memories, no personality islands, and no... <gasps> What? What is it? Number 4. The old emotions are jealous since they've been there longer. In the first movie, we witness the tension between joy and sadness numerous times. This also allows us to see firsthand how their differences set them apart, and how Joy's jealousy over controlling Riley gets both emotions to a worse place. When they were ejected from headquarters, we knew they were in for a wild journey, and the new movie sets the scene for a similar situation. In the same way that Joy was upset about giving up her control, the other emotions are likely to react similarly. This would cause the rest of the emotions to understand what Joy felt when she became upset with sadness. 
Their tendency to react poorly to new people and situations sets an example for how they will also handle the new emotions arriving. Their negative attitude could quickly cause issues for Riley and what she feels. This would be one of the more reasonable examples of why anxiety will not be the villain in Riley's mind. With her arrival being unexpected and unwelcome by her new roommates, the people most likely to react badly would be Riley's old emotions, not her new ones. We can only hope each emotion will learn to set aside their differences and accept the new people they're living with. When we look into Riley's mom's and dad's minds, they only have their five emotions controlling them, which could mean the other emotions will leave, so enjoying the company while they're around would be best for every emotion involved. More importantly, their approval of each other would benefit Riley the most, rather than having her emotions battling each other in her mind. Let's go talk to them. Are you kidding? We're not talking to them. We want them to like us. Number five, anxiety doesn't know much about Riley yet. Since every emotion joining Riley will be new, we don't expect them to start arguments with the emotions, who have been there longer than them. In the trailer, Anxiety apologizes for her brash entrance and tries to mend things over with the old emotions. They don't take well to her apology or her statement of more emotions yet to arrive, and don't seem keen to accept Anxiety as one of their own. Since she is new to headquarters and hasn't known Riley very long, we could expect Anxiety to take her new job slowly. Although she seems to understand more about her purpose than the other emotions did when they popped up, she still seems nervous when introducing herself. Since she has so much catching up to do with Riley, we can expect her to stay focused on her job rather than arguing about the other emotions she's sharing a home with. With her time spent being there so short and her excitement about being there for Riley prevalent, Anxiety would have no desire to cause issues with anyone else. This is why, of every new or old character we have met, Anxiety would be the least likely to stir up any trouble. Guys, what's puberty? I don't know. It's probably not important. Whoa! I have access! With changes happening all around Riley as she enters her teen years, there is so much room left for new villains or heroes to take their stand. With the old emotions facing the new ones, there's bound to be problems initially. But the question remains, who will turn into the villain in all their stories? With the possibility of Joy falling back into her old jealous ways and anxiety only arriving at the beginning of the film, we can only be sure of her innocence. The other characters are up for debate as we ponder who could be the new villain. No matter who takes up the villain in the new film, we hope each emotion has learned to work together just like in the first film. I, I, I... Okay, let's clear it all out. It's... Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. What are you doing? Uh, just uh, give me one second. Um, you know what I've realized? Riley hasn't had lunch. Remember?